the AEK971. Over a decade of fun. This has been one of my go-to rifles in all the other battlefields, and I'm excited it's in 2042 now as a vault weapon. Welcome to another video, and I hope you all are doing great. I'm, I think it's fantastic they finally added this. If you have not unlocked this rifle, you need to get 100 kills with the AK-24 and get 5 kills in one life. Not too bad, right? In this video, we'll be going over all the attachments, and at the end of the video, I'll reveal which uh, setup I think is best for this rifle. Now, let's take a look at the AEK-971 and all the other battlefields up until now, and different sights, mechanics, and sounds. Uh, first one here will be Bad Company 2. Let's hear this. Oh, I miss that sound. That was the prototype AEK in Bad Company 2. I do like the iron sights in Battlefield 3. It sounds nice too. Oh, nice reload mechanics as well. Missing the red on the iron sights in Battlefield 4. Hmm, sounds not too bad. And now 2042 is supposed to mimic Battlefield 3 AEK. Much more bassy sound to it. I like it. Let's listen to some mag dumps. Holy muzzle flash. I forgot how much muzzle flash there was. Wow. Oh, not too much there in Battlefield 3. Oh, muzzle flash is pretty much non-existent in 4. There's a little bit there. Let me know what your favorite sounds are from which titles. And here we are in 2042. I did a good job with the sound. Look at the rifle. Oh, yeah. Really nice. In the first clips, I was using the iron sight, flash suppressor, and grenade launcher. We'll try the red dot reflex. Keep the muzzle or the flash suppressor and also the grenade launcher. I tried the vertical foregrip as well, and to see if there was a difference between the grenade launcher. And I don't notice much difference with recoil. There you go. See, recoil or hip fire. It's pretty much the same. Again, I didn't notice much of a difference. Whew. The ADS is nice uh, with the red dot reflex. Alright, let's try the Cobra and keep the flash suppressor and the grenade launcher. It's like, uh, ADS is same. I the Cobra, I noticed the reticle is not as bright as the uh, regular red dot reflex. Ooh, oh, someone's shooting up there. <laughs> I do like the ADS. It is the same as the regular red dot. The only... See, it's not... That reticle just needs to be a little bit brighter. And I'd probably use it more. Yeah. It's nice though. Nice and stable. Let's try the holographic uh, two times. And uh, we'll keep the same flash suppressor. And grenade launcher. Ooh, ADS is nice. I do like, see how bright that um, reticle is? Holograph, it's nice. Nice and bright. Maybe dice will. I don't know. Oh, guy there. Up the brightness on the Cobra. That'd be cool. So, we got there. I do like this holo. I might have to use it more. Ooh. Yeah, see, the speed's nice. Definitely use the holograph more. And, you know, again, the grenade launcher is a nice feature. There's also smoke. And um, I forgot what the other ones are, but 
it's a nice feature to have and it again four grip vertical four grip versus the grenade launcher you're not going to see a difference with uh, you know recoil uh and hip fire for hip fire for some reason with the grenade launcher is is better so if you're doing a lot of hip firing with that as you see here yep right on target again the vertical grip and hip fire is it's a little bit different hmm, nice ads there i like this all right, let's change it up. Let's keep the red dot and we'll go with the silencer, the suppressor. And uh, we'll keep the grenade launcher. I do like the sound. The sound of the suppressor. <laughs> These guys don't even know that I'm here. Ah, <laughs> oh, the suppressor's nice. Woo! And it keeps you off the radar, which is important. Yeah, good probably to good mid-range maybe with the suppressor close quarters as well wow it deals a lot of firepower too uh, yeah it's not bad Whew. oh <laughs> came back to give me <laughs> All right, let's try the Cobra sight. Again, not much difference there. I think ADS is the same. It's just the brightness of the reticle. Uh, let's just go for it. Why not go for it? Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Man, up close, this gun. This gun, this suppressor, and this setup. Oh, what am I doing? What? <laughs> oh no, I got in there. <laughs> I did play around with the ACOG. I, I do like the brightness of it. It is, you know, the classic, but the recoil is really noticeable uh, with with the ACOG and some of these other sites. This uh, PKS uh, two time zoom. It pretty good I, I think the brightness is nice uh, you don't get the, the recoil isn't too noticeable versus ooh, versus the ACOG it's actually a little bit more stable which just stands up so high off of the rifle Let's see if we can get some more in here uh, oh <laughs> didn't want to waste ammo get more and another few kills maybe there we go oh that one's much better than the ACOG maybe the ACOG is just oh, got coming up here Ooh, that's nice I would say this PKA 3.4 time zoom would be the best scope to use versus the um, ACOG that this scope gives you the best of, of all the everything short mid long and it's it's nice and stable Ooh. even even uh, close close range you know close quarters it does very well I think I need to use ACOG more which I probably will just to see how it goes but again that uh, you see they're nice and stable don't get too much noticeable recoil the guy right yeah Oh, this scope is nice. I would say my pick would be the reflex red dot, the suppressor, and the grenade launcher for good close quarters and mid-range uh, engagements. This combination works amazing. Uh, the ADS is great. Hip fires great. See here. I'm not sure what those guys were doing, but. <laughs> I would say after, uh, out of all the testing that I've been doing, this combination is is great. Also with the the, you know, the, the Cobra uh, reflex, and I also switch it up uh, with the the flash suppressor just to see. You'll see here in a minute. Um, but shooting lasers. <laughs> I did 
Ooh, I did play around with the long range scopes and this guy here. Ooh, there's two of them. Uh, long range scopes, but uh, the recoil, uh, especially on the AK 971, the recoil, it's rough on this weapon. Uh, even in real life, it's the recoil is it's just significant. So a good balance, short range, mid range, uh, long range. You might be able to do pretty good with this, but I would say switch to into that 3.4. Uh, time zoom PKA if you want to go a little bit further outside of the mid range. I did play around with burst fire. Uh, it's not as good as the as the AC-42 rifle. The burst fire is it's a little bit tricky. It does work well, um, but I would say keep it keep it automatic. Or if you want to do single fire, long range. Oh man, this, yeah, I'm telling you, this combination works amazing. All right, let's try the flash suppressor. Just to see if there's any difference. Uh, I, again, it, there isn't much noticeable difference. Even at mid-range engagements, um, the firepower is still there with the suppressor, which is nice because it keeps you off the radar. And uh, having the grenade launcher, ooh, wow. I do like the flash suppressor, but again, not, not a big difference. It's nice to have the grenade launcher in handy, too. <laughs> Secondary backup. Ooh. This setup shoots lasers. Guy in there, see? Trust the old grenade launcher. <laughs> well, that does it, guys. I hope this video um, gave you some visibility to all the different attachments and how awesome the AK is. I'm so glad Dice put it back into the in the Action 2042. Let me know if you want me to make more gun videos. And uh, all right, stay safe, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Take care.